I'm on vacation. Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Well, uh, yeah, I'm not on holidays. I, I don't wear my uh, Kenworth uniform when I'm on holidays. I'm actually on the road. I haven't done this in a long time, partly because of restrictions with COVID and all of that stuff. But uh, you know what? It's uh, It's been a crazy couple of years. I'm back on the road. I'm back visiting customers on their home turf, which is really, Great, uh, just actually finished a, a long day of driving, visiting customers, looking for trucks, looking for used trucks. It's been lots of fun. Uh, good to be back. And this week, we are gonna be doing a tips and tricks, if you wanna call it that. Sure, new segment. We've done this a couple of times in the past. We had somebody comment on a video here the other day and ask me to talk about ratios, rear axle ratios on truck. Let's uh, roll that old intro you haven't seen in a long time and we'll dive right into it. All right, we're back here. Thanks for uh, sticking around. If you are new to the channel here and you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, take a moment and click that subscribe button. If you hit the thumbs up, you'll be notified about future videos that are coming up. Uh, this is a video that is gonna be talking about how to spec a truck. So as far as the rear axle ratio works. So with a rear axle ratio, choosing the right ratio for your truck, there's a lot of variables that you need to discuss. So we're gonna dive into that right now. All right, so when we dive into this here, there's six things that we need to look at. It's not just a matter of picking the right ratio, it's a matter of looking at all of the variables involved. Uh, there's six things that I like to look at that I like to ask a customer when we are specking out their truck. So first and foremost, what is your GVW, your gross vehicle weight rating, or GCWR, your gross combined weight rating? So GVW would be if we're looking at a straight truck, dump truck, uh, crane truck, etc. So just uh, your GVW, gross vehicle weight rating, and GCW, gross combined weight rating, if you're a tractor pulling a trailer or super B uh, or trains. So your gross vehicle weight or your GCW. Uh, that's the first thing that you look at. The second thing that I like to ask a customer is how fast do you drive the truck? So when you're driving the truck, are you running it when you're on the highway? Are you going 62 miles per hour? Are you going 70 miles per hour? Are you doing 60? Uh, there's That is a very key thing because that is your fuel economy range where you're making the truck earn you the most money. So. Uh, your cruise speed, that is critical to know what that is, so how fast you drive. Uh, so the third thing you need to look at is where are you operating the truck? Are you in open plains, flatlands with big crosswinds that you're dealing with on a consistent basis? Are you going through rolling hills? Are you going through the mountains? Those are things that you need to look at. So if you're hauling that much weight over the mountains, or if you're hauling that much weight on flat prairies, uh, that is one thing to consider. That And that's just more experience that would determine uh, what you would need for cruising speed and, and your ratio selection and so forth. So your area of operating. I'm in a hotel room, the phone's ringing. What the heck? Hello? Yeah, I don't know, that, that was weird. Okay, so once you have those three things selected, your GVW, GCWR, your intended cruise speed, and what areas you're, you're operating, then you can look at the truck as far as there's, there's three more things to look at. So one, uh, you wanna look at the transmission that you are using. So if you're using a transmission, let's say a 10 speed direct drive, that's gonna factor in one thing. If you're using a 13 or an 18 double over with a 0.73 overdrive ratio, that's another thing to consider. 
And uh, so that's, that's your next thing, your transmission that you're selecting. The other option is say like a 12 speed uh, AMT, automated manual transmission, whether it's the uh, Eaton Endurant or the Packard 12 speed, that has a 0.77 overdrive ratio. So that's something else to look at. Now that will determine how many turns the transmission is doing in either direct drive or in your overdrive to turn the drive shaft, to turn your wheels, to interact with the ratio and the tires to determine your cruise speed. So that's, that's something that you need to look at. So transmission selection. So the fifth thing is your tires. There's different tire sizes that you can choose on your drive axle. Most common uh, that I'm experiencing is either 11R22 fives, 11R24 fives, but there's certainly other options there. There's low pro 22s, low pro 24s, there's 315 uh, wide steer tire, uh, drive tires that you can put on. You can do 12R22 fives or 12R24 five tires. All of those will give you a tire revolution per mile or, or a tire rev. And that number is very critical in picking your ratio. So once you have that, you're on to your final step and that is choosing your rear axle ratio and what your rear axle ratio will produce with all those other five things, your weight, your areas that you're operating, which experience will determine, your intended cruise speed, your transmission that you're selecting, and your tire size, your ratio will spit out an, an equation. Those six, those six things will equal an RPM of the engine. So I guess the last thing is your engine RPM selecting that. So if you wanna have a targeted RPM, you kind of put that and that will determine your ratio. But if you pick all those options, that will give you an RPM. So uh, I'll just give you a scenario here. And I'm gonna be doing some math on this, not in my head, on my computer after the fact. So let's say I pick 140,000 pounds of weight running in the prairies. Your intended cruise speed is 65 miles per hour and you have a 13 speed manual transmission, 0.73 overdrive. You have 11R22.5 rubber and you wanna keep your RPMs around 1350. With that equation, it's gonna tell me what ratio to choose. And that ratio is, I don't know what it is off the top of my head here, but I'm gonna guess three, three sixes if we want 1350 RPM. Let's see how close I am. Now, if you change your tire size, you go from 11R22.5 to 11R24.5 tires, without changing any other variables, you're actually going to decrease your RPMs. And the reason why you're decreasing your RPMs is the revolutions of the tire is changing. So the transmission and your engine does not have to get as high of RPM in order to achieve the same speed. So you, you what you would do to counteract that if you wanna maintain that 1350 RPM is you'd increase your rear axle ratio from three three sixes to three five fives. Uh, the other thing that you could look at doing as well is if you're looking at a different transmission, like say a direct drive or a 12 speed AMT, not with the same weight. Let's say we go with 80,000 pounds, really common. The 12 speed automated manual transmission with a 0.77 overdrive ratio. With that 0.77, you would have 11 or 22 five tires. Likely you would be a 308 ratio or a 329 ratio to achieve optimum fuel economy at say 13 or 1350 RPM at intended cruise speed of 65 miles per hour. So those are some key variables. Now, a lot of these things can be found in the specking program that I use that Kenworth provides. Cummins also has a specking guideline, it's called Power Spec. Uh, anybody can download that and you can use that to spec out and select the right ratios based on what Cummins recommends. And that puts you in a 
fuel economy, a balance or a performance rating. Same thing with Packard engines that we, that we sell. So that's it for this week. I hope it was helpful for you. Not really my traditional videos that I put out, but uh, when I'm in a hotel room, when I'm on the road and I still wanna create content for you guys to look at, uh, this is what I come up with in my head. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And uh, next week we have some trucks coming your way. I'm hoping to bring a beautiful T800 to you guys to check it out. It's totally tricked out. So make sure you're sticking around. And I will be doing a giveaway next week. Uh, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel here and you watch next week's video. There's more details to come about a giveaway. It's my biggest giveaway yet. Uh, making up for the last month and last two months that I haven't done a giveaway. So we're doing a big giveaway. So make sure you stick around, subscribe here, and I'll be telling you more details in the weeks to come. Thanks a lot. Have yourself the world's best day. Now <laughs> it's time to order my pizza. I like to order pizza when I'm on the road and uh, have it delivered to the room. Uh, and I'll be working on editing some videos, looking at some truck pictures, and uh, just kicking my feet up and relaxing for a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah.